Hello guys and welcome to FJ Success YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a plugin in any WordPress website. Okay, so if you have a WordPress website and you're trying to figure out how you can install a plugin, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can achieve that. So first, um, the most easiest way of doing this is going over to your dashboard. So you log in to your WordPress dashboard here and you go over to plugins and you click on add new okay so you just click on add new and it's going to take you to the wordpress repository okay so this repository here is just basically like a store um, of three different plugins so if you want to add a plugin all you have to do is um, you click on install now from here and you're going to get the plugin um, on your site okay so we have some tabs here. We have popular, we have recommended, and we have favorites. So if you're new to WordPress and you want to know the popular uh, plugins being used on WordPress, just click on popular, and it's going to show you all the popular plugins being installed on WordPress. So there are a bunch of them here. So this list is updated based on the install rate of each of these plugins. So for example, Contact Form 7 has 5 million active installations, so that's why it's here. We also have recommended and favorite. So, if you're looking for a specific plugin like Contact Form 7, all you have to do is type in this search bar Contact Form 7. Okay? Contact Form 7, and it's going to search for this based on keywords. So, you can search based on auto or based on tag, but by default is always going to be on keyword so on this um specific page the first result here is contact form 7 and below this you're going to see other uh contact form 7 plugins or contact form related plugins so to add this plugin just click on install now and it's going to install download this plugin from the wordpress repo into your wordpress local wordpress server and once you click activate the plugin should be activated on your WordPress website. Okay, so that's just one way. So in some cases, when you purchase a plugin from a third-party store like Code Canyon, uh, installing the plugin from the WordPress repo would not be possible. So you can't really get it from the WordPress repo because it's not available on the WordPress repo. So I'm just going to deactivate this first, and I'm going to delete this from the site. So whenever you go to a store like Code Canyon to get a specific plugin it's always provided in a zip format okay so if you, if you go over to wordpress.org um, and you're trying to download a plugin here if you click on download it's going to download this in zip format okay so you can upload this zip to your wordpress website that's how you actually add plugins from third party sources so just click on add new or you can click on add new from uh, the navigation here okay so once you click on add new it's going to take you back to the repo but instead of searching or add, adding a plugin from here we're going to click on this upload button at the top okay so click on upload and over here you can choose a file okay so just click choose a file and it's going to take you to your downloads folder or wherever um, is the default so this is the specific zip for our plugin click on open click on install now and it's going to upload this from your local machine over to your wordpress server so once that's done you can click on activate plugin and this plugin is going to be active on your wordpress website in some cases you find that you can't actually upload some plugins from this um repo uh future here because of the file limit okay some plugins can have a size of 200 mb up to a gig okay so depending on the kind of plugin that you're trying to install and if this isn't working for you generally just come over here to uh, search plugins and type in file manager okay file manager so once you have this file manager uh, results here just click on this first one here file manager you can also install advanced file manager or file star they all do exactly the same thing but I'm just gonna install the first one here so click on install and click on activate okay so I'm going to show you how you can add a plugin from here also. So after activating the file manager plugin, I'm going to go ahead and add, show you how you can add the any plugin via the file manager here. Before then, let's deactivate contact form 7 and delete from our server. Okay, so we don't have duplicate 
uh, a duplicate plugin file. So now we'll go over to VP File Manager, just click on it and let's wait for this to load. So what the File Manager plugin does is it essentially acts as an FTP uh, client for you. So just like file transfer um, protocol clients like FileZilla, so you don't really need to create an FTP account and do all that. You can just install WP File Manager and you have access to every, you have almost the same functionality as what an FTP would provide. So I'm just gonna double click on WP content. So you have to locate this WP content folder because this is where the plugins for WordPress are being kept. So double click on WP content and it's gonna open this. So you have plugins, themes, and other things. So what we're interested in for this tutorial is plugins. But if you're trying to install a theme, you can also do that from here. So it's almost the same process. So just double click on plugins and now you're going to get a list of all the plugins on your site so you can see we have loginizer and wp file manager just like on our front end here so you can just simply drag and drop the file here and it's going to upload this so you can upload it as a zip so once this is uploaded as a zip just right click and click on extract archive extract from archive so make sure you, this is here not new folder so we want this to be extracted at this exact root folder here okay so once you extract this here make sure you delete the zip file itself okay so just drag and drop any plugin here and it's going to be added to your site then unzip it and make sure it is at this um, root level so i'm going to delete this zip because we don't need it anymore and once this is done if we go back to our plugins here you can see we have contact form 7 okay just gonna click on activate and it works exactly the same way as the upload button over here okay so it's exactly the same thing just uh there's a wordpress limit here and when you install uh, uploading a file via file manager the limit is uh way 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 higher so if you have a big plugin this method is going to help you okay there are still other methods of doing this you can use you can go over to your cpanel file manager and it's just going to give you the same functionality the same process here uh, or you can also use ftp so they all work the same way so these are all the basic methods that you can use to install or plugin on your wordpress website it's very straightforward and easy uh, if you have any questions um, related to uploading plugin that's if you're facing an issue you can just leave a comment below and you can also subscribe to our channel for more content with everything covered about plugins in this video i'll see you guys in the next one